Wand 2.2 Animate has just been released, and this update changes everything for AI animation. I've been testing it for the past week, and the results honestly feel like a completely new standard. The character swaps actually flow like a real scene instead of cutting awkwardly and making the result look unnatural. This is the update people have been waiting for, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it works, how to set it up, and walk you through the process step by step. I'll also share some of the craziest examples I've been able to create with it so you can see why Wand 2.2 Animate is already making every other tool look outdated. Now it's actually really easy to access Wand Animate. All you need to do is head over to their official website, I'll leave a link down in the description. Once you sign in, look to the left side and click on the Generate button. That'll bring you into the workflow. From here, in the media settings, you want to select Avatar. And then you'll see three different options for generating which I'll quickly walk you through. The first one is speech to video. This feature lets you upload a picture of whoever you want and then make that person say something. On the left, you upload your photo and on the right, you can either upload an audio file or just type in text and pick from a set of preset voices. We'll test this one out in a minute. The next option is character swap. This lets you upload a video, then upload a photo of a new person and Wan Animate will accurately swap them into the video. Basically, you can can put anyone into any clip you want. And then the last feature, and in my opinion the most exciting one, is Photo Animate. This one brings still images to life by letting you pair them with a video of someone performing an action. So you can take any photo and make it move in a really natural way. With that being said, let's jump into the first one, Speech to Video. For this, I'll start simple. I'll upload a picture of myself. For the speech audio, I'll also keep it basic. I'll generate a line that just says, hey everybody, it's me. Now let's pick a voice. I'll listen through a couple. The pilots were instructed simply to switch off their engines upon landing. This is another interesting theoretical point. We must keep in touch with what is happening in foreign countries. And for this one, I think elegant girl fits best. You can also change the speed of the generated voice, but once that's set, just click next. For resolution, of course you'll want to pick the highest one available. Just note that the higher the resolution, the more credits it costs. You do have the option to generate without credits, but then you'll be waiting a lot longer, especially during peak hours. From my experience, sometimes that wait can be really long, but honestly, their subscription isn't bad at all. The lowest tier is around $6 a month. So with all that set, I'll go ahead and generate the first result. Hey everybody, it's me. And as you can see, it came out looking really good. Definitely a cool feature to try out, and I can already see how this could be useful. If you are a content creator, you can easily make make those cutouts of yourself if you forgot to record something without ever touching the camera, especially if you use your own voice. That alone could save you so much time, and it's also just a fun way to play around with the tool. But let's push it a bit further. For this next test, I'll use a picture of Gautier, the artist who made the song Somebody That I Used To Know. For the line, I'll type. With one animate, you can make anyone say anything. This time for the voice, I'll go with Warm Guy, and I'll bump the speed slightly to 1.1. Everything looks good, so I'll hit generate. With one animate, you can make anyone say anything. And the result? Honestly, it looks pretty eerie, but in a good way. It looks super real. Even though you sometimes have to wait a few minutes for the results, I'd say it's absolutely worth it for how high quality they turn out. Now let's jump over and try out some changes with videos using character swap. For this example, I'm using the iconic scene from The Godfather, where the main character is talking in a meeting during the wedding, and the person I'm going to replace him with is Drake, using this image right here. One thing you definitely need to know if there's a big difference in image quality between your source video and the image you're uploading, it will really show. So always try to use the highest quality picture you can get. That alone makes the final output look way better. So here's how you generate a character swap. On the left, you upload your video. Once it's uploaded, you can actually trim the video, which is really helpful if you only want a specific section of the clip. Once you've got the part you want, just click confirm. Now the video is uploaded. On the right side, 
side, upload the image of the person you want to swap in, in this case, Drake. Once that's done, you'll see it appear right away. Then you can choose your quality settings. I recommend going with Pro since the results look noticeably better, but keep in mind it costs an extra 10 credits. You also have the choice to generate with or without credits, but using credits speeds things up. With everything set, click generate and let it run. Now a quick heads up, character swap does take a little longer than speech to video, so don't be surprised if you wait a bit. Usually it shows you an estimated time for the generation. Once it's finished, let's check it out. You said you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder. And wow, the result looks really good. Everything from the hand movements down to each individual finger is copied over perfectly. The mouth, the expressions, even the way his eyes are half open in the original scene, all of that comes through with Drake in the result. His jawline even looks really similar to the original character in the movie. The cat from the original video kind of disappeared, but honestly, that's fine since it's not really meant to handle that anyway. And honestly, that's where I start thinking about the potential here. Like yeah, you can do it just for fun, but I could also see this working for client projects. It's one of those things where the more you test it, the more use cases you start to see. So yeah, very cool results here. Now let's jump over to what I think is the most exciting feature Wan Animate offers, Photo Animate. So in Photo Animate, the input areas are basically flipped compared to character swap. On the left side, you upload your image, and on the right side, you upload your video. For my image, I went ahead and picked this full body photo of Elon Musk on a solid background. And for the video, I thought it would be fun to use this TikTok clip of a guy dancing. It's a pretty cool dance, lots of movement, and I figured turning that into Elon Musk would really show off just how good this model is. So I'll upload both, I'm not trimming the video, I'll include the full 15 second clip, then I'll make sure to select the highest quality setting, because this is definitely a more complex generation. I'll also set it to generate with credits, and then just hit generate. Now before we look at the result, just a heads up. This generation took about 10 minutes. That's partly because of the length, but also something to keep in mind in general with photo animate. The more complex the video, the longer you'll wait. All right, let's see how it turned out. You don't like the dick. and it came out looking really cool. The way he moves toward the camera and then back again, the hand movements, the facial expressions, they're all spot on. Even the suit moves realistically with the motion and you still see all the details in the fabric. It really shows off how precise this model is and just how far One Animate has taken things with this feature. So now you know how to actually use One Animate to bring photos and videos to life in ways that look almost unreal. And when you think about it, the possibilities are endless. Endless. You could make funny edits with your friends, put yourself into movie scenes, or create insanely cool content for social media. But that's not all, you could also use it professionally, making product ads, swapping actors for client projects, or even building out entire video concepts without just a couple images. So go test this out for yourself. The link to Wan Animate is down in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.